What's up guys, it's Tusk here and today I'm going to quickly go over how to get the shrimp and build line right at the start of the game that is Iron Man mode friendly and that will give you a nice wee head start to help get achievements. So basically there used to be a method where you could play as an extremely old character and that would allow you to get all the inheritable traits uh, with uh, uh, decent stats as well and you wouldn't die immediately but now that is no longer the case. So first of all we we'll want to create a character that is extremely young. As you can see, when we're zero, we have 66 points. Same with our old, but the difference is, well, now that we're this old, our health will decline rapidly and will die within the next five to 10 years. If we're zero, everything's a plain slate and we can lower all of our stats down to zero and we can learn this later on. So now that we're zero, we can see that we have zero customization points with only our faith and only our culture eh, on this character. So there's two different ways to do this. Either you'll want to go for a character that is beautiful and a woman. And the reason you'll want to do this is because once she turns 16, there'll be a massive attraction penalty. That massive 30 attraction penalty only works on people that are either a, a homosexual and woman rulers, which is rare and not very common, or men that are straight and bisexual. And that's why being a woman with beautiful is much more impactful than being a man. So. So assuming you're going to play as a man, which we'll jump into right now, you'll want to go for the cheaper version. Also, the only advantage to playing beautiful other than that is fertility, and the diplomacy is insignificant compared to how much the cost is. So you'll want to go for comely, which gives a, a minus thing, but it does still allow us to get the actual uh, strength and bloodline decision. And then immediately afterwards, we'll want to go for the strongest congenital in the game, that being genius. And genius has so many hidden statistics, uh, beyond what it actually shows right now, uh, let alone all the education advantages, which I'll uh, show in a future video when I talk about education. Uh, and I'll go over all the different, uh, how breeding works in the game and how breeding different traits can can affect uh, in my continental video. This is just a quick wee tip on how to actually get a nice week kickstart. We're gonna robust and immediately we have 400 points We're within the achievement limit and we can just quickly give ourselves a name and start. Now, the main advantage here our main disadvantage here, sorry, is that we're zero, so our character is going to be very vulnerable to uh, a lot of different factors, especially if we were starting in A67. Thankfully, because we're in 1066 and we're a king, which I'm going to assume you may not start as, uh, we do not have much of a problem with domain limit. So our actual strength is not that, not that bad from our neighbours. We can see that at least we're, we're within reason and we're only going to get stronger as we age. So the first thing to look out for is to look out for someone who can educate you. Right now, we're zero years old, we have no one to educate us, and we're looking for someone with a decent education. So what you're looking for is you're looking for one of your vassals, or someone you trust. See how he's got the learning trait, see if he's got pedigree, that would definitely be worth him educating us. His learning stat isn't too low either at 15, and he might educate us. Now, but preferably, you're looking for someone with the genius trait. If someone is a genius, the chance of you getting a better education skyrockets. Now, if they're a genius and they also have pedagogy and the learning tree, that is the best you could possibly hope for. But since uh, that is un very unlikely, we're looking for someone with a genius, and that means we'll get a significantly higher trait. So as of right now, I think it would be best if we got this guy to, to actually educate us. And then when Vladimir becomes older and turns 16, we'll get him to educate us afterwards, and then that'll give us a higher chance of getting a four-star education. But also, since we're a genius, that also dramatically increases it as well. So thanks very much for watching and I hope this helps as you can see, jump in the bloodline and I'll see you guys in the next one.